Good morning, adventurers. Good morning. Welcome to another day of our amazing Canadian road trip. Oh my gosh, we're having a blast. We're loving it. Yeah, yesterday we actually made the drive from Banff up to Jasper. And let me just say it was maybe the most beautiful drive we've ever done in our entire lives. Yep, we'll actually be heading back down there next day or two. So we'll actually film, I think, going back down and show you guys all the stops. We are doing this trip with Yama. They hooked us up with this van. It is brand new, freshly yes. renovated, absolutely beautiful. The most beautiful conversion of an RV or van of any kind that we've ever been into. In all of our videos that we make with them, we're gonna have a link in the description where you can check out the van, get a little bit more close up and personal with it. And they hooked us up with a discount code discount. for y'all. 100 bucks off on your Dude. first booking. Please let us know if you end up coming up here and taking this bad boy out. It has been so much fun. We're only a few days in, but we are loving yeah, it. Yeah, we were saying, you guys know we've done a lot of traveling, but this has been like some of the most fun that we've had in a long time. And there's something so amazing about not having to pack up at the end of every day. I mean, you have to make sure stuff's not gonna go flying when you're driving. But other than that, all of our clothes are here. We're just all ready to go whenever yep. we need to go. We are up in Jasper National Park. We are staying at a little campsite called Wobasso, right outside of the town of Jasper. So the plan today is to go in and see the city a little bit. There is a waterfall though nearby that we are headed to that's going to be beautiful. And then I think we're going to do a little hike because you have to when you're here. Also we apologize. There are so many hikes to do in both of these parks. We are not even going to scratch the surface so don't get too mad at us that we missed your favorite hike. But we are going to see some incredible stuff yes. today guys so stay tuned. Yes. All right let's head to the waterfall. We've made it to Athabasca Falls. You guys, <laughs> it's hard to explain the force of the rapids rushing through here behind us. It's insane. It seems so angry and chaotic, but it's so pretty and beautiful and magnificent. There's so much power coming off of this fall. Yeah. So we are here at about 11 a.m. On a Monday. Yeah, and uh, it's a little bit crowded, but it's not that bad. You can see we were able to get a little photo over here and get this spot to ourselves for a second. So. Yeah. Not too bad, Yeah, but, but come earlier. <laughs> yeah, probably come earlier. I definitely recommend a weekday over a weekend. But on the other side of the falls, there should be a really pretty viewpoint where after all the chaos, it turns into this beautiful blue, just like river on the other side. So I'm excited to see what that looks like. I love the watercolor in these rivers here in Canada. Look at it, it's like this greenish blue hue. It's really interesting. It's really pretty. And this, we're just getting started with the beautiful water, y'all. Over the next few days, we're gonna see some insanely covered, colored rivers and lakes. I can't wait. But this is actually the river that runs down near our campground. So if we were to fall in, at least it'd take us home, right? Well, this is absolutely beautiful and we, Somehow got it all to ourselves all of a sudden, but I'm very hungry, so I think it's time to go eat. For lunch, aka our breakfast, we came to the downtown area of Jasper, which is really cute. It is touristy, but not too bad. It still feels pretty local. I think I might have made a mistake. I brought us to this place called Coco's Cafe because it had pretty good reviews, but I think it's kind of a ripoff. I paid <laughs> 10 Canadian dollars for a bowl of black bean and sweet potato bowl. <laughs> <laughs> and this is it, y'all. This is what ten dollars gets you. Yeah, we were expecting a lot more. Maybe it'll be really delicious. I mean, it might least. be. I did read that the portions were small, but the flavor makes up for it. But I didn't quite realize how small it was going to be. But that's okay. There's another restaurant we want to try in town for dinner. So maybe this is uh, serendipity. Is that when something happens that's good? Is that right? On the plus side, their iced latte was huge and really yummy. So that's good. And I ended up getting a cappuccino. I know it's warm outside, but I've had too many iced lattes, man. Uh, you can never have enough. Also, this weather, can we talk about it for one second? When we first started our journey, it was like in the 50s or 60s Fahrenheit and really rainy and chilly. We had to wear sweaters. Today, it is almost 80 degrees. The sun is shining. It is lovely. It does look like there's a lot of rice and veggies in there. It smells good. 
<laughs> see. It's pretty yummy. Not the most flavorful thing I've ever had, but it'll do. So the food might not have been that great. At least the dishes we got. I got a ranchero burrito, and it just... I didn't even show it because it really just wasn't that good, <laughs> it was unfortunately. Like wet eggs <laughs> yeah. in a wrap. <laughs> but the coffee was bomb, which I failed to say. I got a cappuccino, or well, you saw that, and it was really good. Yeah, so, so I would go there for the coffee. coffee, definitely. But we also stopped by a little liquor store. Check it out. These are little vodka sodas. Guys, we love these, and they don't they didn't have any of these in Central and South America that we could find. Yeah. But they have them here up in North America. Mm -hmm. So this is a brand and a type we've never tried. Nude, and it's strawberry kiwi. Yeah, it's I don't be think good. you can go wrong with it. We're at the Jasper Sky Tram. So we are about to be in that thing right up there, riding our way up to the top Ooh. to Whistler's Ridge. I think so, Whistler's Hike. Should be some pretty incredible views up there. So we're gonna head up now. Oh shoot, cannabis not permitted. Probably need to go back to the- I guess the... I need to empty everything in my backpack then. You can see the whole control room for the cable car. Check this out. Yeah, three of these huge gears spinning, man. That's really neat. I've never been able to see see it that exposed. No, it's really, really cool. I wouldn't want to step foot in there because a lot of stuff to snatch your arm and rip it clean off. And so far, there's not too many other people lined up. All right, let's go. We'll arrive at the upper terminal at an elevation of 2,300 meters. It's a one kilometer vertical lift along a track length that's about two kilometers in length. I pass over our tower now here. The car is going to sway from front to back, so just prepare yourselves for it. That's about the only thrill on the ride. <laughs> we have made it to the top. The tram ride was very cool. I didn't know the views were going to be so cool. The tree line and stuff was really neat looking. It was so pretty. And you could see these amazing blue lakes off in the distance. Yeah. Also, there is so much snow up here, even though it's not, it's not much cold, cooler. No. It's like so 15 it's, degrees Celsius or so. Yeah. So it's really interesting. It looks like icy winter, but it feels like spring. Yeah. Check out these views, though. <gasps> this is what we're walking by over there. Pretty insane. That wasn't me. You little jerk. We're both terrified to throw the snow at each other because we know we'll get pissed. <laughs> but she did it! I did it! She did it! Oh, it's really cold! It is cold. Oh, Joke's on you. It's ice, not snow. Oh. Yeah. They actually said this was corn snow. Yeah. Because it's like little pieces of corn. Whoa, it's really cold. Jeez. Yeah. Holy cow, you guys. This is a uh, <laughs> steep, steep, steep. You don't do many switchbacks, so you're kind of just going straight up. I didn't yeah. quite realize. Woo. My calves are gonna be burning after this. Yeah. I'm sure you guys can't tell, but it's like that straight. So <laughs> it may not look that bad, but you're it is pretty bad. You're feeling it in your calves and your butt, for sure. We're earning those beers. That's what Allison said. <laughs> Oh, the snow is so deep, you guys. I just sunk right into it. <laughs> Oops. I didn't know it was going to be quite so uh, treacherous. Yeah, this little area is uh, super slick, and the wind all of a sudden came out of nowhere. Yeah. But Jeez. I think if we can make it up over the hump, that's where the views should be. At least I'm hoping. We made it to the to top. To the summit. Just kidding. To the fake summit. The false summit. <laughs> the false one. But I think that's high enough for us. Yeah. Also, <clears throat> it turns into complete snow that way to get to the summit. So we're fine right here. It was a pretty tough walk getting over here, but totally <laughs> worth it because check out this view, you guys. This is insane. And we've yeah. got it pretty much all to ourselves for the time being. On the other side, it is really pretty, but all the other peaks are way far away, and Jasper's so tiny, so it's hard to take it in. But over here, as you can see, the peaks are way closer, and you can see yeah. a lot more. It's so epic. Wow, it's 
really insane. There are so many snow-capped peaks just all clumped together over here. I mean, it's just really as cool. far as the eye can see. This whole side of the mountain is covered in shale or sandstone or something. We don't know anything <laughs> about rocks, guys, so don't make fun of us. We're no geologists. <laughs> no, but uh, it's really crazy because it's just like tons of it. Tiny pieces, big old pieces. And, you know, I don't know if this is weird, but I really like the sound of it. I know, it almost sounds like a wind chime yeah, or something. Yeah, listen to this. It's just so satisfying a sound. It does all, <laughs> or it does also make me feel like it's gonna crack loose at any moment. We're just gonna go sliding down into oblivion, but hopefully that is not true. For dinner. We came to Jasper Brewing Company, which is right on the main drag of Jasper. We actually had one of their Pilsners earlier in the week. We didn't really connect that it's from here, right? It's a little bit pricey, but pretty much everything in this town is a bit pricey because it's like a tourist destination, I guess. But I'm hoping it's gonna be well worth it. Our waitress assured us that I got a chicken sandwich and it should be really tasty. The beer's really good, I could say that. And I feel like we earned it. Do you feel like you earned it? We definitely earned it, sir. Cheers to being out of breath. <laughs> Our food has arrived, you guys, it looks amazing. I went with the chicken sandwich, which has a little like a coleslaw or some lettuce or something on top of it. And I added a little smoked cheddar on the top. And then I got a uh, salad with it that has some feta, some uh, barley, some cranberries on there, I think. And it just looks so fresh and delicious. Fried chicken sandwiches, they're great and all, but check this out, y'all. This little beauty is elk meatloaf, and the elk is from here in Canada. I haven't had meatloaf, I don't know, in like years, and I've, I don't know that I've ever had elk in my life, so this is gonna be pretty interesting. And it comes on top of a whole bunch of, I think it's mashed potatoes and then roasted veggies. I'm so excited to try this. She said this is one of their most popular dishes, and I believe that because elk meatloaf, where else are you gonna get that? Mm. That is super tender, really nice and juicy in there. It's got a lot of seasoning in there. I want to say maybe sage or rosemary or something, but it's got a nice little tang from that. Ooh, it's really savory. I would be really interested to see what elk tastes like on its own, but in a meatloaf, two thumbs up. You guys, we saw a bunch of cars stopped on the side of the street, and you know what that means. There's a big There's old bear, bear over there. Ah! <laughs> it's a huge one, and he's just chilling, eating some grass. At one point, he walked across the road, <laughs> and one guy was outside of his car. I was like, dude, don't be I doing would be that. freaking. <laughs> I am so happy right now that we saw a bear. Yeah, it was we so close. We got to share it with so you huge. guys. But oh I'm not about to get out of the car, though. Don't do get out of the car. Do not get out of your car. You're not supposed to do that. Give them plenty of space. We made it back to the campsite. The sun is setting even though it's like 9 p.m. Yeah, it's gonna it's be crazy. epic. We are gonna get a fire started. And we're gonna do it the way our forefathers did with Extreme Start Fire Starter. Yo. Yeah. <laughs> I'm skeptical we can even make this work. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> so you gotta put the starter stuff on the bottom. That's what you do, okay? I know beautiful, that. Beautiful, beautiful. Put the starter stuff on the bottom. I put my little Extreme Starter Log thingy this looks like a hunk of peanut butter. We've made progress, y'all. Check it out. Fire! I've got a bed of small chunks of wood, nice and toasting down there. Of course, my little Duraflame light log thing <laughs> at the bottom, <laughs> making this magic possible. <laughs> the cool thing about this campsite is you have to buy a fire permit. It's 880 Canadian dollars, but it comes with unlimited firewood. So we just went over and picked up this whole bunch Probably more than we need. Definitely more than we need because we're just roasting marshmallows tonight. We got the nicest <laughs> chocolate, 70% organic chocolate, off brand little dudes, and then your Jet Puffed Originals. It 
It's MF and s'more time, y'all. <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> Did I nail it? <laughs> nail it, kid. <laughs> the mosquitoes here are huge, you guys. They're everywhere. They're... But I haven't really gotten any bites. Have you gotten bit yet? No, I they got... keep landing on me. It looks like they try, but we put some bug spray on, but not that much. But y'all, they're like 10 times bigger than a normal mosquito. It's creepy. Well, we are going to retire for the evening, I think. To, to our, our chambers. To our chambers. On wheels. We had a blast. I gotta be honest with you guys. This was one of my favorite days ever. We saw some incredible sights. We, I wouldn't say hiked. We walked <laughs> on top of a mountain. We went to a brewery. We saw a freaking bear. It's yeah. been great. We had s'mores. It is actually late despite still being bright out. It's almost 11. Can you <laughs> believe that? PM. The sun never sets in Canada, apparently. That we had insane. no idea. But we are going to retire, so. Good night, adventurers. Oh, we'll see you on the road. As soon as I figure. Yeah, there you go. We'll see you on the road.